Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The Cessna Citation Longitude achieves provisional type certification. The European Aviation Safety Agency certifies the Technam Traveler. And the King Stallion Helicopter has further delays. Welcome to your December 26th edition of Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Skylar Vanell. The Cessna Citation Longitude has received its provisional type certification from the FAA. This allows operators to begin training pilots in preparation for aircraft deliveries early next year. The program is nearing its final phase of certification. President and CEO Ron Draper of Textron Aviation said, From an unmatched cabin experience to its commanding performance, the Citation Longitude truly sets a new standard for the business aviation industry. Earlier this year, the aircraft completed a world tour where it showed off its impressive performance numbers and lush interior. The Longitude wrapped up its flight test program where it completed 1,650 flights and over 4,000 hours. Production is currently underway at Textron's manufacturing facility. When we return, we'll take you around the patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Hartzell Propellers has received a supplemental type certificates for its two blade aluminum scimitar propellers for the Cessna 180 and 182 aircraft. The new 82-inch propeller includes a polished spinner and all STC documentation. Cessna owners can upgrade for around $10,000. The Carlo Group has agreed to acquire Standard Aero. Standard Aero is the provider of aftermarket engine maintenance, repair, and overhaul services. The transaction is expected to close by March of 2019. The financial terms were not disclosed, but analysts say the transaction is worth around $5 billion. The Women in Corporate Aviation Association announced that they are accepting member applications through January 15th. Over $10,000 in scholarship money is available and it can be used for leadership development, training, and certification purposes. The scholarship program is made possible through donors and allows women in aviation to enhance their careers. The first Airbus H160 is rolled off the brand new assembly line in France. It performed a flight demonstration on December 17th in front of the H160 team at the company's end of the year celebration for the program's achievements. The helicopter took its first flight on December 14th and first delivery will go to Babcock in 2020. That wraps up today's trip around the patch. The European Aviation Safety Agency has awarded a full type certification to Technam for its P-2012 Traveler. With the FAA certification expected soon, Technam says they are on track to commence deliveries in early 2019. The two prototypes used in the testing program have flown 600 hours and include sorties in severe environments. They have gone further than what is required for cabin safety, evacuation procedures, and fire protection tests. The certified aircraft configuration is a high-wing twin-engine powered by two Lycoming six-cylinder turbocharged TEO 540C1A engines. The anti-ice de-icing system chosen is TKS from Cab Ice, which makes the aircraft capable of flight into known icing. The P-2012 Traveler development project was officially announced in 2015. Technam invested in new production facilities in Capua, Italy, a town just 30 miles north of Naples. Check out more on the Technam Traveler. You can go to our website at aero-news.net. When we come back, the King Stallion helicopter has further delays. The 
dream is real, a truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. The development of the Sikorsky Sky King Stallion helicopter for the Marine Corps is taking longer than planned and will miss its initial combat capability milestone next year. The program has been forced to resolve some major issues that popped up during flight test. A few things they are looking to fix are exhaust gas being pulled back into the engine, limited service life for the main rotor gearbox parts, tail rotor deficiencies, and late delivery of redesigned parts. The Defense Contract Management Agency says flight testing will not be completed until May of 2020. The Navy has already budgeted to buy 61 of the helicopters, taking delivery through 2023. The current acquisition cost of the aircraft, including development, is close to $140 million per helicopter. That wraps up today's show. For more details on stories you've seen here today, you can go to aero-news.net. From all of us here at Aero News, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.